We're unboxing all of the 5 inch Super Mario Movie Wave 2 figures, but who will Bowser pick as his favorite? Here's Cat Mario. Oh, what? I'm a cat? Ah, you got the cat box! Now you die. I'm a cat. Meow. Cat Mario first appeared in Super Mario 3D World. As Cat Mario, Mario has the ability to dash, pounce, and scratch like a cat. Here's Mario dressed in his bright yellow cat suit. Look, he looks adorable. He really does. Does anybody know where I can adopt a yellow cat? In the games, Cat Mario has the unique ability to climb up walls. Let's see if I can make him climb. Nope. Take a look at his fluffy yellow fur all over his body. I really love the textured look the designers gave him. It gives him that furry look. He's got a white belly, big funny paws, and cat ears. He's got pink paw pads under his feet too. There's white fur on the inside of his legs, around his tail, and on the bottom of his face. You can even see some faint orange stripes on his body and the sides of his face. The fur on his face is smoother than his body. You can see Mario's face poking out of the costume with his signature mustache. He's got the same realistic eyes that follow you around. On the back, he's got a yellow articulated tail with a white tip. But where the heck are his claws? How the hell am I going to scratch Donkey Kong to death without any claws? We get 15 points of articulation. Cat Mario's head rotates a full 360 degrees. His head moves slightly backward and forward with some head pivot. He has full 360 degree arm rotation. His arms pivot outward. He has full elbow movement, full 360 degree elbow rotation, and full 360 wrist rotation. He rotates a full 360 degrees at the waist, but it misaligns his belly pain. His legs have limited articulation. They move slightly backward and forward. His legs pivot outward. He has knee and ankle movement. His tail rotates a full 360 degrees, but I wanted to get him in a cat pose on all four limbs. Cat Mario looks ridiculously funny when he runs around as a cat. He comes with his question mark block accessory, but I was hoping to see a Super Bell power-up inside. Here's Tanuki Mario. Launch the bomber bill and destroy the Mushroom Kingdom! Hey, hey, hey over here! Come on. The Tanuki suit actually first appeared in Super Mario Bros. 3. While it's often confused with Raccoon Mario, it's actually based on a type of dog found in Japan. Mario, why do you look like a bear? What is this? Here's Mario dressed in his Tanuki suit. He reminds me of a teddy bear that I had as a kid, until I flushed him down the toilet. In the games, the Tanuki power-up allows Mario to jump up and fly through the air. Do you guys really think he'll fly? Let's see. Three, two, one. Fly, Mario, fly! Nope. Take a look at his fluffy reddish-brown fur all over his body. Similar to Cat Mario, I love how it's texturized, giving it a furry look. He's got a big, round, tan belly, gigantic feet, and cute little ears. While the fur on his head is texturized, too, it's much softer than his body. You can see Mario's face poking through the costume. He's got the same realistic eyes that follow you around. He wouldn't be complete without his striped, dark brown, and tan-colored raccoon tail. Cool raccoon suit! Really? Not at all! I don't know why, but when I first took Tanuki Mario out of the box, I dreamt he was Donkey Kong. He just needs dancing packs. Let's talk articulation. He has full head rotation, but unfortunately he can't move his head up, so he flies with his head down. He has full 360 arm rotation, and his arms pivot out. He has elbow and wrist movement. He has slight waist movement, but it misaligns his stomach pain. And his tail spins like a propeller, like tails from Sonic. He has leg movement. His legs pivot outward. He also has a single jointed knee and ankle movement. Inside the box, you'll get the Super Leaf accessory. Tanuki Mario can hold his Super Leaf accessory, but it falls out too easily. Here's Kamek. Love really makes a guy come out of his shell. Let's rule the world. Together. Forever. Will you marry me? Oh, yes. As Bowser's most loyal henchman, Kamek would do anything for Bowser. I love how Kamek speaks with a German accent in the movie, but oddly, he's never mentioned by name. 
Kamek looks straight out of the movie. With his hunched over body, he's ready to kneel before Bowser. Behold, the king of the Koopa! Take a look at his curved beak-like mouth with his unique shaped nose and fangs. If you look closely at his hands, he's even got claws. His signature blue robe covers his entire body, including his feet. His wizard hat completes the look. I really love the textured look on his robe and white trim on his sleeves and hat. Because he's wearing a pair of round gray spectacles with black trim, Kamek doesn't have those realistic eyes. I wonder what his eyes would look like without the glasses. However, where Kamek really disappoints is in its lack of articulation. He has full 360 head rotation and slight backward and forward head movement. His arms have a limited range of motion because of his large sleeves. He has elbow movement and full 360 wrist movement. He actually has feet under his robe, but they don't move. He includes his wand, looks really good with nice golden paint and a small transparent red jewel on the end. Hold your wand, Kamek. To the Mushroom Kingdom and the biggest bite of our lives. Here we go! Here's Biker Peach out of the box. Peaches, 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 I love you! You really thought I'd marry you? Kinda. I'd never marry a monster. Drama! We got Peach in her biker suit and a smaller scale with Mario Kart pullback racers, but this figure looks a hell of a lot more detailed. Peach looks like a total badass in her signature white and pink biker suit. Her biker suit comes complete with hot pink matching gloves, a waist cinching belt, and knee high rider boots. Glam wise, she's got on strawberry toned lipstick and smoky black eyelashes with a matching pink scarf and knee pads. Her hair is tied in a ponytail sticking out the back. The helmet's not removable, and interestingly, this figure doesn't feature those realistic eyes. Blue Shell! <laughs> Here's the Blue Shell. Just looking at this weapon of mass destruction terrifies me. I'm afraid to touch it. With 16 points of articulation, Biker Peach is the most articulated figure in the line. She can somewhat move left and right, backward and forward with some head pivot. She has full 360 arm rotation. Her arms pivot outward. She has elbow movement, full 360 degree elbow rotation, and full 360 wrist rotation. She rotates a full 360 at the weight. Her legs go somewhat backward and kick upward. She can also do the splits. She has a thigh cut for greater posability. She has knee and up and down ankle movement and full 360 rotation at the ankle. It can be difficult to make Biker Peach stand. It would have been nice if we got a motorcycle in the same scale. Right now I have to ride Biker Peach around on her toddler bike. And Bowser's favorite is... Oh, yes. What the fuck? 